C3, a communication question on slopes and lines. It is easy to determine the slope of a line using x and y intercepts. Explain why. Well, we answered the question earlier, right? Now here, you remember, what is x-intercept? x-intercept is a point where y value is 0. Do you understand? So if I have x-intercept, then it will be a point like some x value, let's say x1, comma 0, right? And how about y-intercept? y-intercept will have 0 value for x and some value for y, correct? Now the slope is so easy. Slope m of such a line will be y minus 0, which is y divided by 0 minus x. So we get minus y over x. Do you see that? That's how it is. So it is very, very simple if you use these two points. It's the ratio of those points with a negative sign. That is important, right? How will you determine slope of a line for which both x and y intercepts don't exit? So can you tell me when will they not exit? So it's possible one of them, right? If the line is horizontal, then both will not exist. Only one will exist, right? So a horizontal line, only y intercept is there, correct? So for a horizontal line, the slope is zero. So slope for horizontal line equals to zero. Do you see that? Slope is zero for horizontal line. Y equals to some value, constant. So here, say y equals to, let's say this point is one. Slope is zero. Y equals to mx plus m is zero. And if we have a vertical line, in that case, it will not have any y-intercept. It will have x-intercept only, right? So in such case, slope is how much? Undefined for vertical line. Is it okay? So that is how it is, correct? I hope you understand. Let's move on to next question.